Hi everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I'm Justin Block and today I want to talk about Lucas. We all know Lucas Leiva is close to returning from um, his injury. Later this month he uh, actually played, he debuted in a U21 game. I think he played about 60 minutes for them and Brendan Rodgers said with another week of training um, he should be good to go. I think he'll be ready maybe by Southampton on the 1st, maybe Udinese on the 6th um, or maybe our December 9th fixture. Who knows, any one of those three games he should make his debut. So it's very good seeing Lucas getting back on the side. I know a couple matches this season, especially in the Chelsea game or in the Man City game, um, really, really, really could have used Lucas to sort of um, put some of their key playmakers like David Silva, Edwin Hazard, Juan Mata under lock and key. Um, he really specializes in that. And uh, Lucas is a quality football player, great football in mind. Um, the key to the side to me outside of Joe Allen and Luis Suarez. But with Lucas coming back into the starting 11, um, somebody has to get dropped. Now at midfield, we've seen Steven Gerrard, Nui Shaheen, uh, Jordan Henderson, Joe Allen. Um, we've seen a combination of those three in the midfield three throughout the season. So I want to know, I'm asking you, who do you think out of those three will get dropped or out of that bunch will get dropped? And how do you think the midfield shape will work? We all know Brendan Rodgers, you know, sometimes he inverts a triangle, sometimes he plays a triangle this way today, or I should say um, last game against Swansea was sort of a flat midfield. So I want to know, I'm asking you, who will be our midfield three and how will they stack up or how would they bunch up? Me personally, I think we'll see this as the midfield three. I think we'll see Lucas and Joe Allen to have sit back and then I think we'll see Steven Gerrard in that false 10 role. Now we all know Steven Gerrard hasn't been um, really great at all this season. Um, he's Early in the season he had that sort of false 10 attacking midfielder role and he was pretty terrible in my opinion. Um, he's improved since he's become a holding deep line playmaker type of player. But he's again he's actually been fifth in the Premier League I believe in chances created. So he's creating chances at a high, very high rate um, near the top of the league. But overall, his performances haven't been that great. And um, me, personally, I think John Joe Shelby should be starting over Steven Gerrard at this point. I know it's difficult to say. I know Steven Gerrard's a captain, um, you know, talismanic player, great player. Um, you never want to say the word Steven Gerrard drop from the side. But I think that John Joe Shelby is a superior player in that role at that point. And with Lucas coming back on the side, I think Steven Gerrard um, is sort of getting butted out. Having Steven Gerrard as a holding midfielder was fine because, you know, Joe Allen was covering for Lucas. But with Lucas coming back on the side, Joe Allen sliding over, um, there's a definite need in the attacking midfield spot. And I'm just not sure if Steven Gerrard right now can handle that. But that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think of it. I still think that Brendan Rodgers will start Steven Gerrard in more of an advanced role. I want to see Gerrard get another chance there. Um, just personally, I just want to see Jared. I never want to see Jared drop from side. I know it's you know a Liverpool, little bit of a Liverpool bias, and maybe if I was an impartial fan, I would say, you know, John Shelby should definitely be starting there, um, hands down. But I want to see Jared get another run on the side. I think Shelby is right behind his heels. But I think um, many times of the season, Shelby has proved to you know, drift in and out of games um, and not proved to be consistent or at least good enough to supplant Steven Gerrard or a name like Steven Gerrard on the side. So give me your opinion on the matter. Um, so with Lucas coming back, who will be the midfield three? Um, little tactical conversation here. I'll be responding to your comments. Give me your thoughts down below. Bon jovi, guys. That's all for today.